Hi there, welcome to Daily Mana. Just as our body is in need of material food, so as our soul is in need of the word of the Lord. I once visited a crab pond and I saw some crabs walking around from their holes going somewhere. And just within the four corners of the pond where they were placed, well, we all know that when a word crab is mentioned and we will be given a chance to think or imagine about them, we think of how they walk sideways. You don't see any crab walking forward or backwards. Every one of them walk sideways. Well, sideward is the direction that they go to because that's what they are. That's what they are supposed to display as well because that's their orientation just as like the crabs all of them walking on one way towards a side you know thinking of a christian walk we also have some ideals in mind because when we say a person shall walk in a christian way what actual what actually we're trying to say is that we walk in a way that christ walked or walking in Christ likeness. Well, this is something that is clarified further by the Apostle Paul in his writing to the church in Colossae. If you look at Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 to 7, he said here, Therefore, as you received Christ, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. Having been firmly rooted, and now being built up in him and established in the faith or in your faith, just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude. Now, when, when Paul mentioned this, the main verb actually here is walk. The, the other verb that says, have you have received, is just introduced by a subordinating clause, as. So, meaning the main statement of these verses is the command that says, So, walk in Him. Christians are commanded in the context of this passage, are commanded to walk in Jesus Christ. Meaning, walking a life that is similar to the kind of life that Jesus walked on earth. Well, how does that mean or how does that look like? Well, we have some images of how Jesus lived on earth in the scriptures. Paul made some clarifications by providing us the participles within this passage. And I would like to emphasize three of them in verse 7 where it says, Having been firmly rooted, and then the second one is being built up, and the third is established now having been firmly rooted being built up and established well take note that all of these participles are in a passive form when we say passive form the subject which is implied in the command that is walk and so the subject is you you walk in him meaning they are not the one they're not the ones who's, who's going to perform the action because it is initiated and is done by something else or shall i say someone else within the context of this text the first participle that says having been firmly rooted it actually means being strengthened and the emphasis of this participle is on the source of the strength okay and then the second one is being built up, still in a passive voice. And what does it mean by that? It means enabled or increased in potential. And the focus of this particular participle is the process that is involved. And lastly, established or strengthened in the inner aspect with the implication of firmness of character. Now think of this. When a Christian is commanded to walk in Jesus, Take note that the word walk is active, but the participles that are clarifying further as to how this walking would happen are all in a passive voice. So meaning, 
this is a collaboration between the believer and God himself. When we say the person will walk in the likeness of Christ, there is the work of the person himself, but more of that is the work of God in the life of that person. How does that happen? When the command was given, the Christian shall intentionally walk. The person who does not intentionally walk will not experience the participles that are expected to take place in the process of the walking. So, Christians or believers are expected to decide to intentionally walk as Christ did. And once he intentionally does it, God will allow that person to experience his strengthening in his way of walking because when one decides to walk in jesus it's not easy don't you know that it's so easy to be a christian because you just have to put your faith in christ genuinely and he assures you of eternal life but to walk as a christian is difficult when you are surrounded especially when you are surrounded by people who have different worldviews in life or a different way of living and added to that, the next participle is being built up, meaning the process that God is making in your life that you are so involved with it, God is actively putting you in the process as well to increase your potential. What potential? Your potential to live out a Christ-like life. And lastly, established. The word established means strengthened in the inner aspect with the implication of firmness of character or attitude. It doesn't mean that we become so brave and uh, we become stiff, so stiff in the way we are behaving. But the point is that in relation to the truth that we hold on to that is in Jesus, we become firm about it. We are not easily swayed by some false teachings or some ideologies or some kind of trials that we experience. When a Christian walks, and starts doing it intentionally. That person will experience the strength of God, the strengthening of God, the empowerment of Christ, and lastly, the firmness in the character that is so Christ-like that even in the midst of your surrounding that is against you, so long that you are in the truth, you are so firm about it because you are determined to live out the truth in your life. And that's what happens when a Christian walks in Jesus. And may we all be found by the Lord walking like Christ. May we be found consistently living out of our lives in Christ's likeness. Let's pray. Lord, we are grateful for this meditation today and we truly need your empowerment to be able to walk in your likeness. We say all of this with trust in our hearts, with expectations as well for the work of your Holy Spirit. In your name, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.